Hurry up, your naked foods are getting cold. Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning. And happy Juneteenth. Here at Mythical, we take the opinions of our employees very seriously. Uh, unless they criticize anything having to do with us. Oh, and, and then as you know, we can't hear them. Right. Like literally, our ears cease to function. Yeah, our doctor, we have the same doctor, says there's no cure. He's a urologist. But you know whose opinions, especially about food, we really do trust? Our urologist. No, no, our senior staff writer and professional food taster over at Sport, Jordan Myrick. Hi! Oh, he's right there. And there's Jordan Myrick. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people don't know this, but I'm also their urologist. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> All right, so at Spork, um, you know, you, you, you're like a taster of the people. Yes, at Spork, I'm not always necessarily picking my favorite things, but I'm picking different things for people of different palates that might have different tastes, different budgets, all different things like and that. And not necessarily fancy. No, not, I would say hardly ever fancy. Well, do you think right. you have a fancy palate? I can have a fancy palate when the mood strikes. Okay. okay. So um, today we're gonna be able to analyze your preferences at the different price points. All right, I'm excited. And ours. Yeah, it's time for Naked Foods, Jordan Myrick from Sport Edition, Naked. Okay boys, today you're tasting Jordan's favorite dishes at various price levels, low, mid, high, and fancy. And some of the dishes you try today will be from their favorite places to order them. You'll pick your favorite and I'll tell you where each one is from and how much it costs. And by the end, you'll know how fancy your palates are when it comes to Jordan's favorite foods. Jordan, what do we have here? This is shrimp and grits. It sure is, dang, this it's so exciting. Good Look, choice. Thank how you. good this stuff looks. Now this one, this one has like, greenery on it. There's the grit. There's some ham. And there's the shrimp. Okay. And there's still, there's a tail on the shrimp, mm -hmm. which makes it a little more difficult. Do you eat the tail or do you not eat the tail? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, you, you eat tail? My family does eat tail. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Uh, I don't know. Whoa. Link doesn't. Okay, Link well. can't even eat shrimp. Um, uh, yeah, my family will eat the tail if it's like crunchy if, if enough. If it's fried. If it's fried, but also if I, it's I, like that. I learned that like a couple years ago that you can eat it if it's fried. But oh yeah. Not like this. You can eat anything if it's fried. Good gosh, that's a good shrimp and grit Man, right now. That is so tasty. This one has little shrimp, but it also has tail? medium sized shrimp. That one, the tail fell off. There's sausage in this one. But yeah, this one is tailless. Wow, totally different flavor profile. Tangier. It's almost smoky. That um, ham or sausage or whatever it is. Mm-hmm. Wow. Now this It's like one. a Polish sausage. Oh, this, this one is, is like if this someone looks said, fab. So what did you ask for? You asked for shrimp and grits. <laughs> okay. Shrimp and grits. This isn't shrimp and grits, this is shrimp and grits, you see the difference? They had that delivered from a hospital. I mean, I'm not, <laughs> is that, yeah, that's now one of the tiers yeah. <laughs> on Naked Foods, hospital. <laughs> that's, that's sad. I'm not eating that shrimp. I'm not wasting my stomach space. Yeah, it's very, it's very rubbery. Did you eat the tail? <laughs> I didn't eat tail. Now this one looks good too, it's very gravy it's forward. It's soupy. Um, good gosh, that is a, the shrimp's so big I can't get it out. I love that. Look at how big that shrimp is. That's awesome. Good mm. gracious. Not as big of a fan of this one, but it does have a big shrimp. I gotta eat that big, good golly. I'm trying to decide if there's so much gravy in this. It's very good, but. I'm having such a good time. I'm just having This such is a yet good time. another thing that brings us together into potentially Good God. different versions of the same person. Sure. Because if I see shrimp and grits on a menu, it's hard for me to resist. I'm ready to vote. Wow, there's two good ones, there's one incredible one. And I think I go fancy when Three, it comes to this. Two, one. That yes. is some of the best shrimp and grits I've, I've ever, ever had. had. I got, I'm dying to know where that's from. Well, you have both chosen the 
fancy option. It's ha! Yardbird for thirty-seven dollars. Um, it is not Jordan's favorite. Jordan's favorite is the last one with the big shrimp, which is our high option, Fixin' Soul Kitchen for $20. Really? Yeah, it's really good. It's from Fixin' Soul Kitchen, which is a black-owned restaurant in downtown LA. The food is delicious, and I think the price really point good. is reasonable. I will say that I haven't tried that Yardbird one because it's $36. <laughs> I don't typically have $36. Um, so I would like for that to come over here for me to taste it. Yeah. Pass that oh. on, Jordan. Look at that. All right. Hey, but now, we, but you, we you both, both did fancy. Chose, yeah, you both, you both chose fancy. Here you go. And um, I thought maybe today, I don't know, I want to switch things up a little bit, like take our minds off of loss and, and yeah. maybe introduce uh, what I'm calling the fancy pants prance, oh. if you're interested in that. Yeah. Just to move in a different direction. So it's less of a dance and more of a sure. prance. Yeah, it's more sure. of a prance. Um, maybe some new music. Yeah. I know how to prance. Now that's a little dancey. You got a little dancey there. And then I got a little prancy and then I got tired. Yep, we need to edit that That's a that lot down. of music, yeah. Too much. You know what, you'll prancing. have more opportunities to work on your prance, Ooh. but I, I think you're getting there. But that is the, I think this is the thing that fanciest matters the most. What did you think of that? I think this is delicious. It's a, not quite traditional enough for me. Oh, okay. It feels like nice shrimp on top of yeah. nice grits. It doesn't feel like something like my family made, you know? Okay, I get right. that. You're, so, from, you're from the area, so you know. I'm from the South, yes. The other two were our mid-price point, another Broken Egg Cafe for nineteen ninety nine. dollars Good, and, and then, that's a good place. Right. I just don't, I mean, off, this is our low price point from Walmart, which is $1.53 per, this is. Is it add I, your how own do seasonings? We, why do we even do this? Like we, we got. Why does Walmart We, we do got this? great value shrimp and Quaker grit. And put the two together. Oh, like, so this you is guys did exactly what we thought. Yes. Yeah, you just yeah. did shrimp and grits. Okay. Yeah. Well, it showed. This is chicken larb. Uh, what is chicken larb? Oh, it's great. It's I've so never good. had this. It's essentially like a ground meat or protein salad. You can do it with pork, tofu. You're gonna love it. It's so good, so flavorful. Oh, is it? It's a Thai dish. Yeah, it's it's, it's like a Thai salad. I love it. It's spicy. It's tangy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> now I will say, for this round, we only have three options, but uh -huh. two of them are technically Jordan's favorite, and also the third one is the only restaurant that I've had, and it's one of my favorite restaurants. So Whoa. I don't think you can go, can't wrong. go wrong. Can't lose. I love that. I'm curious as to what level they ordered these because I normally order extra spicy. Oh, you go so all the way. I like, do. This at is a, a Thai restaurant. Yeah, I extra lock spicy? eyes with the server and I say extra spicy. You, like and, you mean and it? And I mean it. And I mean it. Well, because you know, a lot of times they think, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You want right. extra spicy, right? And I you, get these that. feel medium to me. Do you struggle and like it, or do you not even struggle? I typically don't struggle, and if I do struggle a little, I like it. This is smokier, a lot smokier, um, and hotter. This is more what I'm used to. And I like it more. It's got more vinegar in it. Over here, this one feels a little dry. Doesn't look as good, but well, let's see. Oh, that's even tangier. You know, in a different way. It's got that like um, very good. What is it that makes Thai food a little bit sour? Lime or yeah. lemongrass or galangal. Lemongrass. I just can't believe I've never ordered this. It's like, I mean, why am I just going with the pad Thai every time? This is where it's at. Branding. Yo. Branding. Yeah, gotta have a better name than Larb. I think it's kind of nice. I'm just eating Larb by the Larb. Spoonful. Larb. It sounds like something you would sprinkle over something that you were growing in order to kill the things that you didn't want to kill it. Wow. You put some Larb in your yard? You hmm. ready to vote? Yeah. <clears throat> I love it. I love this. Three, two, one. Well, Boom. bam. Yes, I almost went with this one. You almost went with this one? It's a little too sour. Yep, this is the sweet spot. That right down in the middle. 
It's too smoky. Another bite. All okay. great though. You're right. So you've both chosen the low price point Sap Coffee Shop for twelve dollars. It is one of Jordan's favorites. At a, co- it's just a coffee shop. That's what it's called, but it's actually a noodle shop. Yeah, and coffee it's and larb. One of the best Thai restaurants in Los Angeles. <laughs> nice. We Sap. Yeah. S A P P. All right. And then the middle plate is the high option Jetlada for seventeen ninety five. Mm. And then the last is uh, the mid option Ruin Pear for fourteen ninety five, which is another one of Jordan's favorites. Okay, they're all good. They're and they're all very distinct, which is, yeah, you know, there's something to say for that. <laughs> this is Cotton Candy Randy. Hi, daddies. Do you like my pin? Mm-hmm. It's the June pin of the month. Only available for twenty four hours at Mythical.com. It's me, Cotton Candy Randy, as a beautiful mermaid. It's the Cotton Candy Mermandy pin. Oh. Yeah, do you want to hear a sweet nothing? Oh, always, yes. Go to mythical.com to get your pin now. That's so sweet, Randy. Hey, Link. Me and your dad are starting a podcast where we talk smack about you and watch classic episodes of Hannah Montana. <laughs> Hi, Jordan. Hi. See you later at Sacred Ice Swim Class. Looking Bye, forward everybody. To it. Bye. Bye. Wow. Start a podcast with your dad. This is chicken and waffles. This is chicken and oh, waffles. Okay. Oh, man. You got to love Jordan Migrant. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan knows what's up. Okay. There's a chicken leg here with my name on it. And there's a waffle over here with my face in it. Link, are you leg? I'm a dark meat man, yeah. Me too. Well, all this is dark really? meat. Really? Mm-hmm. I'm just telling you. Uh, okay. I'm gonna get some chicken and a waffle together because that's how I usually do this. Rhett, what the- type of meat are you getting? Uh, I, I like the breast <gasps> because I like as much chicken together, but I'm a dark meat guy. I'm an I'm a all chicken guy. Okay. You know, I get it. I Thank get it. You. I cook. If I make chicken sandwiches, I cook with thighs. I know about the moisture content. Thank you. The waffle has green flecks in it. I don't hmm. know. I don't know. I thought I knew where this waffle was from, but I don't now. Hmm. It's good. I thought it was uh, Roscoe's for a second, but I think that's maybe Roscoe's. this. No, I think maybe this is. I'll know it when I Actually, taste. Actually, yeah, I think you're right. I know it's not this one because this is like a chicken. They don't do square waffles. This at is Roscoe's. a chicken schnitzel. Which actually, and a square waffle. It makes it super easy to do chicken and waffle when you do it like this. That's nothing to complain about. It's pretty daggum tasty. Mm-hmm. A nice schnitzel. Also, are these all buttered and syruped and what's the deal? What are we working with? Yeah, they're buttered. There's, there's stuff on them. All right. And there's like syrup soaked in it. I think that they... Okay. I do butter, syrup, and hot sauce on the whole thing. Of course you do. I don't put the hot yeah. sauce on the waffle, but I do I put do. it on the, um, on the chicken. Um, and now, do you That's want... surprisingly good. There's something in the um, in the batter of the chicken that I didn't love. I can tell you right now that I've I've looked more closely. This is Roscoe's. That's no, that's Roscoe's. Because Roscoe's has a thinner waffle. It's been I haven't been in like yeah. I haven't been since pre-pandemic. Got to go back. Wow. They do takeout. That's my least favorite so far. What do you not like about it? The chicken's great. Chicken is very classic. I don't like the spice profile on the chicken as much. It's weird because between these three right now, I like this one that doesn't even have bones in the chicken. But let's see here. It's a classic chicken, oh, see, man. See that? The reason I like the breast is because look at that. Look how much meat you can get in a bite. And then this right here. I mean, look at how look at how thin this waffle is compared to the other ones, and how little the little the little. Um, what are those squares called in a waffle? Waffle squares. I would call them crevices. Crevices are small. The waffle at Ross has cinnamon in it. Is cinnamony. That crunchy is just begging for some hot sauce. I don't know if it's just the first time I had chicken and waffles was at Roscoe's, but the nostalgia factor is. I like the, the thin waffle with the chicken and waffle is a much more manageable thing. That chicken is just so good. This is tough for me. Yeah, I don't like it as much. I'm actually putting that one last. You're thinking about putting that one forward. Wow. Okay, I'm ready to vote. And if you're still gonna be eating, then I'm gonna keep eating too. Two. One. Yep. Gotta go with Roscoe's. Roscoe's is the best. But I'm very interested in what these other ones are. So 
That is Roscoe's. It's also Jordan's favorite. It is. It's our mid price point. It's sixteen eighty. The first one is our fancy dish from Yardbird again for forty two dollars. Then the next <laughs> one is <laughs> good. What is our, this restaurant? <laughs> Dang, I Yardbird. know our high price point from and waffles for nineteen ninety nine. This and then one? the next one, yeah. And the next one is our low price point Dinah's for fourteen seventy. Dinah's got a good logo. Dinah's is really popular. It's it's beloved. They're all good. Actually, having tasted all four of them, this became my least favorite as I went back to it. Okay. Okay. So it was like it tasted really good after this one, and then as I went back and tasted all the chicken again. The one without the bones just wasn't as good. But give me that Roscoe's chicken and waffles. It's so it's good. Just too good. And get yourself some of those cheese eggs scrambled with onions. Woo, that's that good. That is how I eat my scrambled eggs. No, are you serious? Extra cheesy with onion. I'm not kidding. My girlfriend makes that for me almost every morning. It's the only thing she can cook. Well, maybe y'all should just move in together. <laughs> should we? Let's just be the same person. Okay. That's Let's wild. do the twin thing where they don't know we're twins and only one of us shows up and they don't know. Wow, okay. So I was going to suggest dressing Parent the same track. every day, but oh. yeah, I like your that. idea too. This is a chocolate cupcake with chocolate frosting. This is a chocolate cupcake with chocolate frosting? <laughs> I think it is. And Start small. We have chosen. Why well, you got a fork? The same. I was just going to go like wow. this. We have chosen the same favorite every single round so far. Mm -hmm. That's never happened. And never most happened. of the time, it was also your favorite. Yeah, I love we, that. We are all on the same wavelength when it comes to your taste. <sighs> I think that's beautiful. Yeah. And I, I wonder if that's gonna happen this round. Because there's, there's one could. cupcake in particular that's sort of like calling my name right now, but I'm, I'm not there yet, so I'm just gonna kinda go through these little ones. Okay. <laughs> mm. With sprinkles. That first one tastes like something you get at Walmart. What? I thought the first one was great. It tastes like something you get at Walmart. But I mean, here's the thing, I don't, I don't really like cupcakes. I went to a party this past weekend, graduation party, I think it was. I don't know, I don't know what we were celebrating. <laughs> That's crazy. What What's this it? party? Hey, That's somebody, not supposed to happen if you get really old. Somebody says, party, I'm there. Um, and they gave me a cupcake and I ate it on the way back to my house and then I threw the rest of it away. What do you mean so you, you ate it. it? What part did you eat? I took a bite. Oh, okay. So that second one also tasted like something. It's, I mean, cupcakes are not, I mean, Walmart cupcakes aren't bad. I'm not That's saying they're good. bad. That's good, but look at this one. It's freaking huge. This one is something else entirely. And the, it's like chocolate, but then caramel, and then salt. Oh God. <laughs> wow. Oh. <laughs> it's not just good because it's big. It's good because it's good. It is rich. Good. Gosh, it's rich. Yeah, I don't know if I can keep eating it so rich. Yeah, see how you ate some of mine. This might be where we part ways. Well, I'm just gonna keep that one intact. Maybe, maybe, maybe Jordan wants to eat that one. Okay, that's a good thought. And then this one. What about that cupcake place where you, you get a cupcake through a window? Sprinkles. How's that? I don't think it's very good. <laughs> Unless they wanna have me do some kind of ad, then I love it. Right. This cupcake is uh, unabashedly bad. This is the bad one. I don't agree. I think all three of the small ones are like pretty run of the mill. All right, I'm ready to vote. Three. It's not even close. Two. One. I'm actually not going with that one because it's, it's just too much. Wow. It's too much for me. This one, it was light on the icing. I'm not great with icing, so I want the lightest icing and the, the cake was surprisingly moist. Okay, there are a lot of jabs thrown in this, this round. Um, I'm gonna start with the final one that Link really crapped all over. That would be Jordan's favorite. So uh, let's talk about I, this. And I, I didn't wanna our, say anything. I was like, our, when Link said that, I was like, maybe my taste buds are fooling me right now, but I actually thought this one was. Uh, it's our mid price yeah, point. Yeah, better than, this one. this one's cheap. Magnolia Bakery for 415. So what I like about this cupcake is that first of all, it's extremely affordable in the world of like fancier cupcakes. I think the ratio of icing to cupcake is perfect because I like a lot of icing. It is a lot and of I icing. think the icing yeah. is 
uh, like perfectly chocolatey without being too dense. I think the cake is light. It's like enough without being too much. I think it's perfect. And I think you're wrong. I'm you know sorry. what, Jordan? Jordan. Well, you got reasons. Th there, this I is where you and I. This is where you and I are in sync because I am. <gasps> I'm an icing guy. I love this. Yeah. I'm not an icing guy. Was it's it great. Delicious. It's a great. I would icing. love it. Just me, a bathtub. Yes. And a big tub of icing. I love, you know what you should do? You should take a tub of store-bought icing and you should put it in the freezer no. and it becomes like a fudge-like consistency. It's really good. Okay. Yeah, it's like DIY fudge. Okay, but Link wasn't the only one uh, unknowingly throwing jabs because that first one that Rhett said was from Walmart is actually our high price point option from Sweet Lady Jane's okay. for five fifty. High, okay, whatever. And then Rhett, oh. you did choose our fancy cupcake from Valerie Confections, and I'm sorry, but Valerie Confections would like me not to call it a cupcake. They would like me to call it a cake, but it's a cupcake. It is pretty cake. For six sixty-seven. Oh, uh, almost so, six sixty-six. Hmm. Wow. Let's uh, let's see the 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 prancing, shall we? We shall. Where'd he go? There he is. Where'd he go? There he is. I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling the prance. I gotta say, I just like dancing more than prancing. You know? Yeah, I can tell your heart wasn't in. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that third prance across the screen? Too much. Kinda like... Too much ice. I appreciate it, Stevie, that you're trying something new, but I just feel like I'm not feeling the Oh, you're putting anymore. it on me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought you did a great job, oh, but nice. I understand. We can explore. Okay. Um, that last cupcake was our low cupcake price. You know what I'm saying. From Kroger. It was only 42 cents per Why cupcake. 42 so cents? A real steal there. Dang. And uh, the lowest possible combined total today was $28.49. And the highest combined total was 1362. Wow. Rhett, your perfect Jordan meal was 7247. And Link, yours was 7130. Wow, pretty Very close. close. Pretty close. Do we know what your price point was for your own meals? Anyone? <laughs> no, we do not. No. It was pretty close to ours. Because, I think it would be similar, yeah. Because I picked your yeah. favorite three out of four of the rounds. There was yeah. only one. Uh, no, no, two out of four rounds, because yeah. this is your favorite. We didn't yeah. pick that one. I'm sorry about That's that. That's okay. But then I ate all the icing. That's fine, yeah. I We're appreciated good. you doing that. Yeah. We are good. I did it for you. <laughs> I undid everything with the cupcake shade? What about the scrambled eggs? I don't know. I have to think about it. Yeah. Forgot about that. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. My name is Megan, and I'm from Lynchburg, Virginia, and I'm getting ready to try the Sporked Recommended on the border salsa con queso. And now it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. It's gonna be good, I'm gonna tell you right now, they got it figured out over there. Mm -hmm. Click the top link to watch us try and guess whether these D&D &D spells are real or fake in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Available today only, be a part of his world when you shop June's pin of the month, Cotton Candy Mermandy at mythical.com.